Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I want to show you how to generate random codes from external source using JavaScript Fetch API with async await. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how callback function works in JavaScript, how only DOM manipulation works, and also look at the event name called DOM content loaded. So the objective of this video is to be able to click on this button and generate random codes from external source. So guys, that is the objective. Before I actually get started, let me show you what I have inside my index.html file. So right here, I have a div with an ID of code container. In here, I have an h2 tag, a block code tag with a class of code. And then I have a button right here with a class of new code btn, just like that. So back to my CSS file, I have already added some styles to the button and also added some styles to have a nice layout like this. So if I actually refresh my web page and click on the button, you can see that we are unable to generate new codes. That is to show you that we are going to start from scratch. So back to my JavaScript file, I have my API that we are going to use called API URL. And just below here, I have selected the code container and then the btn. Now that everything is in place, we are going to start by actually fetching the data from external source using this API. So to get started, I'll go with my async keyword and then I will use my function keyword. The function name is going to be get code. So inside the curly bracket, I'll go with my try and catch block like that. So inside the try block, I'll create a variable called response. I will assign it to my await keyword and then use my fetch function. So inside the parentheses, I need to pass in my API URL and just below here, I'll create another variable called data. And then I will assign it to another await keyword since we are going to get a promise a return. And now we are going to convert the data into a JSON data like that. So before we move on, let's lump the data to the console. But of course, we need to actually invoke our get code function for us to see the data in the console. So now if I go to the console and then refresh the web page, you can see we have an object of items. So what we are going to need is the author and the content. So those are the two things that we're going to display on our web page. So the next thing for us to do is to actually add the content inside our code container. So to do that, I will go with our code container dot in my HTML. So right here, I will go with my backtick and then have a paragraph tag in place. So in here, inside the curly bracket, we are going to access the content. So I'll just go with data dot content like that and then we are going to go with another tag called site like that. So in here, we are going to add the name of the author. So I can just go with data.auto like that. And if I refresh my web page, you can see we have the content and then we have the author. Live is great. So now that we are able to display the content and then the author, the next thing for us to do is to actually click on this button and randomly fetch the data. So the way that works is by actually going with our new code PTN like that. So we're going to add our event listener. The event name is going to be click. So I'll just add our click event like that. And then in here, we are going to pass in the name of our function, get code. If I refresh my web page and click on this button, you can see that we are able to randomly fetch the data. Life is great. But the next thing we want to do is to be able to fetch the data as soon as the page loads. So for that, we are not going to invoke our get code function right here. But what we're going to do is to actually go with another document dot add event listener. So in here, we are going to pass in our DOM content loaded, which is the event name. So basically with DOM content loaded, we are going to fetch the data as soon as the page loads. So as the second parameter, we are going to pass in our get code function. As soon as I refresh the web page, you can see we are able to generate a new code. And if I click, we are going to be able to fetch another code and then another code. By clicking on this button, we are fetching random codes. So guys, in this video, we've seen how DOM content loaded works, how fake API works how to use our callback function and how to manipulate the dog. So with that alone, I hope that you've learned something from this video. If you do, make sure that you always practice 
make sure that you stay consistent. Make sure that you keep grinding and never miss a day. So guys, with that being said, I'll see you in our next tutorial.